What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from dopetechdaily.com. Today I'm bringing you guys a quick video to address a problem that I've come up against on a new update for the Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus. Maybe some of you guys have had this issue as well. Now this is my Exynos Coral Blue version. The Galaxy S8 in the US hasn't actually received the update yet. But the update, among other things, brings some changes to the navigation bar. Now, one of the useful changes that they add is a little button down here at the bottom, right here to the left of the back key. You can go ahead and press that, and it's going to get rid of your navigation bar. It's going to enter immersive mode. You can swipe back up and pin your navigation bar. So that's a nice and useful change that they made with the navigation bar, and I like to see that. However, one thing that they also did, if you go into the settings app, and then you look into display and go down to navigation bar, there used to be several options for theming the navigation bar, and you had a lot of different colors to choose from. You could actually choose any color on the RGB spectrum. Most importantly, you could choose black, which is the color that I want my navigation bar to be at the bottom, not only because it just looks better, but also because I use a black AMOLED keyboard for Gboard, and I like it to match. Now you can see they've got all these pastel colors now. There's no black there to choose. You can choose to apply your current theme, which I'm currently running the Color Dust 2 theme. I just made a video about that if you want to check it out, but black is missing. So if you want to fix this problem, you can use an app that I've actually mentioned before in a previous video. Navbar apps will solve this problem for you. You can go into Navbar apps and you can actually select a color from the palette that you want to use all the time. So if you can choose this option here, go into settings here, you can choose which color you want. You guys can see there that I've chosen black in this particular case. You select this color and it's going to keep your nav bar to be black. Now there's a lot of other things that you can do within the general settings. If you want to change how it detects the keyboard and all these other things, that'll allow you to match the color of your nav bar to the keyboard. Even when you're in the keyboard app, you can go through, you can see here, my AMOLED keyboard from Gboard matches my navigation bar even when I open the keyboard. Now that's a great feature. You can see here, you can also change how the animation occurs. So when you actually go through and open up a new app, it sort of slides in the black color. You can see for just a second there that it's sort of white at the bottom or a light color, and then the black color slides in. But it's a very smooth animation, and you can change if you want to do that via fade or material design animation. Now, you can notice that sometimes when you're in an app, the especially if you go to uh, unpin the navigation bar to enter immersive mode, you may have an issue of this guy turning white for just a second or two, but if you exit the app and come back, it'll go back to being the black color. Now, Navbar Apps is great for fixing the problem with having a black navigation bar at the bottom. Again, lots of great things you can do with that, detecting the keyboard, but there's also a lot of other great options I wanted to show that I didn't mention before when I talked about Navbar Apps. If you're someone who doesn't want to have a black background all the time, say you want to match the color of the app you're in, you can choose this option and it'll get the color from your running app. So in Hangouts, it's green, in Gmail, it's red, etc. Whatever the app is that you're in, it's gonna match that color. And I think that's a great option and one that a lot of people might enjoy. A couple of the other cool options that I've found in playing around with navbar apps, in addition to just changing to a static color, another thing that you can do is you can display your battery percentage at the bottom as a widget. This is really neat in my opinion. The color might look a little strange, but you can see right there at the top, I've got 52% battery, and down here exactly 52% of my navbar is shaded. You can go into the settings and change if you want this to be a bar or a circle. I really like the circle pattern just because it doesn't interfere with the color that I've set there at the bottom. You can also show an image under the navigation bar sort of as a fade. You can go in and actually, of course, choose what that image is here from the list. And you can see all the various ones you have there. You can also hit a plus sign and actually import an image from your own gallery. Say I want to do this image here from backdrops. I can then display that. This is a custom image. It's added to the list. I can choose that, and now there at the very bottom, I can have that image sort of overlaid on my actual nav bar. Now, again, if you have the color option enabled and you enable this, it's gonna overwrite your color. But if you like to have a custom image down there, and you might, it looks pretty cool depending on the image that you have, uh, that's another option that you have. This one is kind of silly, but a lot of the millennials might like it. You can enable emojis at the very bottom there. I'm actually gonna switch this back to a fixed color just so you can see the emojis a little better there at the bottom. You can actually choose which emojis you want right there in the settings, and that'll let you edit each one using the little editing bar there. You can choose from a list of emojis, people, symbols, etc. cetera. Um, personally, that's not one I would use, but it's something that you might enjoy, uh, especially the younger crowd. There's also a couple of new features um, that are in testing right now. Music widget, you can show your music widget um, while you have music playing, 
And then soon there's gonna be custom overlays added to the screen on top of the nav bar apps. So a lot of really useful stuff. The stuff that I particularly enjoy so far is getting back my black bar at the bottom along with the battery percentage, which I really like, as you guys can see there. That does persist through the home screen, and I think it's a nice touch. It's something that keeps me from having to look up top. Also, if you wanna use the full immersive mode, which I did a tutorial on how to enable full immersive mode on the Galaxy S8, then you don't have to swipe down to see your battery percentage, because you're gonna have it down there. You can just swipe up from the bottom to get that information. All right, guys, so that's a look at the features of Navbar apps specifically how to solve the problem of getting back the black nav bar and some of the other cool features. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. You can find me at dopetechdaily.com, Google+, Instagram, and Twitter. The link's in the description. Appreciate you guys checking out this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.